Welcome to the Guitarist TV Show. I'm Mike Diego. What you're about to see is a short clip of Steve Lukather's chat on the Guitarist TV channel. I hope you enjoy. Cheers. But my record is just really very autobiographical. I mean, I wrote it from the core. I wanted to get back into substance as opposed to flash. I mean, there's a, there's a couple of, one of the flashier moments on the record that I was just doing as a warm up. You just can't look back, right? It's not really. Yeah, I mean, you know, and I was just warming up because I was really consciously going anti fast. Because I unwittingly realized that, like, whenever I would be nervous or drunk, I was like, I played too much. And so I was like, I'm not doing that anymore. And any of it, you know, you know and, and, and I was just warming up. My son came to the studio, and he's been, Dad, you gotta do it. That's that's incredible, Bob. You gotta put that. In. Said, oh no, 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 no. That's ridiculous. So I laid down a couple of passes. And I said, I'm gonna come back tomorrow. And you like got something to say? That's just kind of like fools you at all. And so um, the Steve McMillan, the guys, we went. He said, Just go home and put one together. Made to put a couple things. I said, well, just don't make, just make it so it sounds like it's music. But then not just make it. And what, what, what he put together is what's on the record. And I just kept going, I don't know about this. And I played it for a couple of friends. Phil Collin, you know, he, he sang backgrounds on a couple of things. We were all friends. He showed up. And I said, I played it for him. I said, you think this is too much? He goes, no, nah, man, it's great. You just gotta get my son. Everybody's like, yeah. I kept going, no, no, no. Because most of the rest of the stuff, I really showed some restraint. Try to play some interesting notes. That are just outside of the box of a regular rock and blues kind of player. Yeah. So, you know, I've always, you know, I also got that Larry Carlton school of thought. You know, I learned so much with them and worked with Rit and all the rest of the guys from that studio jazz rock crossover thing. Appreciate I was trying to work out how to describe it, but um, what I came up with was it's like a box of chocolates and all your favorite chocolates and you get home and you sit down and you can eat them and they're just all so wonderful. I can't put my finger on any one that I like the most but they're just all great. They really are, they're really yeah. Well, thanks a lot, man. It's, I mean, it's nice to get the, um, you know, it's been received rather well, and you know, it's doing really well for me. You know, and then, you know, I think the has been incredible. Their support has been more than I've had in decades. So I'm really excited about that. To be on the road, I feel great. I've got a great band, and, I, and the tour's been going great, and I'm very lucky to be in this position. Oh, well. you know, after all these years, it's not like I was on Flavor of the Month and I got a new hit record on the charts or something like that. Hey, here I am. Yeah. Um, us old school guys are getting a little bit more love than we used to get because I, it was great because I was talking uh, it was the Journey guys busted at me, the, you know, the TV show and all this yeah. stuff. stuff. Well, you know, we're all my friends with me. Neil's giving me friends. And, uh, you know, it, you know it's just nice because the, the, the stigma that was attached to that genre of music, like the journeys, totally, and all that stuff. Like, yeah. We all got lumped in this box. Even though, if you put us, listen to the record side by side, we don't sound anything alike. I think it was just an era, like genre stamp. Critics hate this kind of music if it comes with these kind of people. And it's really ridiculous. We're all friends. We're all very, like, you know, we've all worked in various configurations, whether even it's just on the same concert or we've worked on records together. We're all friends, man. I, mean, I love those guys. All of them. All those bands. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, you can see the full interview at www.guitaristtv.com shortly.